Okay, today we're talking about when you have your budget for your film, and I see this a lot with documentaries, where you're looking to raise money to pay your salary. So there's debt attached to the movie. So I wanna talk about that, here we go. Hi, my name is Tom Malloy. I've raised over $25 million for financing movies. I've produced at the time of this video 16 films, I've written 30 plus screenplays, and options sold or made to movies 24 of those screenplays, and I've started a bunch of movies. So I'm an encyclopedia on filmmaking. Today we're talking about uh, when there's an aspect of the budget that is like salaries that were unpaid, right? And I see this a ton of times on documentaries. People will tell me about their documentary and I'll say, uh, where are you at? And they'll say, well, we shot it and now we're just in post-production. I'll go, great, how much are you looking to raise? And they'll give me some huge number, 300,000. 300,000 for post-production, so that means the whole movie was, was what, a, a million? No, 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 the whole movie's 350,000. Okay, so then I find out when we talk about it is that what happened was that they didn't pay themselves and they're, they're factoring in their salary into that number that they have to raise so that they can pay themselves. All right, so here's what I'm gonna tell you. Uh, that is very, very tough to do and really is something that you would try to avoid at any cost because for any potential financier coming in, they're looking at it and there's really debt attached to the movie, right? The movie's in negative. It's almost like if you think about it, if you're buying a car and you look and you say, all right, I want this Range Rover and how much is it to, to, to buy it? And they say, well, you know, I know the sticker price is, you know, $100,000 or so, but it's actually, there's 30,000 of debt that, you know, you have to pay the last owner or something like that. So it's actually 130. So wait, am I getting a $100,000 car? I'm getting, I have to pay 130 to get it. Do you see in that regard, it doesn't make any sense. And, and again, it, we're not talking about low numbers. Like I said, in, in the example that I used, which is pretty much as close to a real life example, they're, you know, they may be that 350,000, they actually only need 75,000 for post and the rest, uh, the 275,000 is salaries. <laughs> it's like, so in that regard, you're buying say a $75,000 car for $300,000. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So when you look at it from that, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't add up. And that's why it's very, very tough to close those investors. And, and a lot of times now, if you're watching this video and you go, well, that's where I, I am in my movie. Well, what you have to do is you have to say, Maybe this time you just kind of take one for the team and the team being the movie and you don't make a salary on this one and you finish the movie and you get it done and you worry about getting your salary up front for future films. Um, that is the way that a lot of times it'll happen because the documentarian or the filmmaker will be looking for this huge amount of money, never gets it and goes, well, you know, we could theoretically just edit it for this and then they finish it that way. So it, sometimes it takes a, a people a long time to kind of process this, but I'm telling you, again, it doesn't make any financial sense to an investor for them to invest in a film or documentary if there's debt attached already to it. If you want more videos and training on filmmaking, check out the link below. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.